Hey guys, just got in the mail the Seed Studio DSO Nano version 2. This is a pocket oscilloscope that you can pick up online for 90 bucks. It's only a one channel oscilloscope, so it's not good for like computer testing and all that other stuff that you'd use an expensive $800 oscilloscope with, but it's perfect, and this is why I bought it, for setting amplifier gains. You can use it to make sure you're not clipping your amplifiers and to detect when distortion will be then it's a lot cheaper than some of the other solutions that are out there so I bought it directly from Seed Studios not their eBay or not a eBay page came in a nice little box uh, shipped from Hong Kong got some bubble wrap inside kept it all protected and stuff and it comes in this nice little green box reminds me a lot of like Android and how they do things by the way, this is a completely open source uh, oscilloscope, so you can download different firmware and different user interfaces online, and they encourage you to actually modify this if you have the know-how. So opening it up, little quick start panel up top, just tells you what the basic buttons do and stuff. You have your DSO Nano right here on top, comes in a little plastic baggie. And it has a screen protector on the front and a protector on the back. DSO Nano, a handy scope for everyone. Creative Commons, all that stuff. Underneath this, we have a little fake leather carrying pouch for it. And we have a set of probes. And I believe these are for the built in signal generator, but you can also plug these in the probe ports and I'll most likely be using these to plug into my speaker outs on my amplifiers. Then in this little bag we have a screwdriver, some little rubber pads, and a um, little stand that you can put the DSO on. So here it is, small little scope, power switches on the side, powers up. It's very basic, very very basic looking, and it it itself is very basic, but you can get some good readings with it. I was um, using one set of probes plugged into my speaker outs and the other set of probes plugged into this and I was using some test tones through iTunes and it was actually picking up the frequencies correctly and showing them really well. Very thin. Here's my phone compared to it. I have a Droid Incredible. HTC Incredible, that's the size of it compared to the HTC Incredible, which it itself is a pretty small phone. So, that's a good pocket little size. But, I'll have more videos to this coming up. I'm going to upgrade the firmware, this is the stock firmware, I'm going to upgrade it to the Ben 10 firmware, or Ben F firmware rather which is supposedly a lot better than the stock firmware and I'm also going to set my amplifier games with it when I get everything in my Stratus. Little note, this uses a rechargeable battery, not replaceable. Well, it's replaceable, but it's not like double A's you take out and it charges through USB port, which you can also transfer save sine waves with. So that's the DSO Nano. Take a peek if you're looking for something cheap to set up your amplifiers with. Peace.